Hey guys, well, I have my first gun video. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is actually my grandfather's gun. It is a Beretta Model 21A. It's known as the Bobcat. A uh, little backup pistol. Um, pretty nice. I like it a lot. Like I said, this is my first gun. Uh, I'll spare you the story because it's kind of long, but the sh here's the short version. Uh, my great uncle, who is my grandfather's half brother, he's actually a judge in Pennsylvania, and he came to help us with all the paperwork that we need to do. You know, when my grandfather passed away. At the time, uh, my dad wasn't comfortable with having my grandfather's guns there. Plus, they were also his, my grandfather's father's guns, um, which were his half brother's father as well. So my dad thought it'd be, you know, right for him to take the guns to keep. Uh, anyway, he came down to visit us recently, and he brought this to give to me, which was fantastic. I was very surprised. I'm really happy that I actually have this in my possession because, again, it was my grandfather's. It has some sentimental value to me. Uh, plus, it's my first gun. I've always really wanted to get into uh, collecting and using guns. Um, I've actually been hesitant towards it because of the fact that I don't have any more money to spend. Uh, I, you know, I'm not kidding around when I say I'm broke like all the time. That's why I do a lot of trading with knives. Um, so I hardly ever have you know money to spend. However, it's really nice now I have one in my possession. Like I said, grant my grandfather, so it's really cool for me. Um, actually, I have the original box, which was in uh, my grandfather's house. And I have the original receipt here. And this was this gun was purchased in 1987. Um, like I said, it's a Beretta 21A. Uh, it shoots a tw uh, 22 caliber bullet, an LR, which stands for long rifle. And I'll tell you a minute about that. Um, anyway, this gun was originally purchased for $179.95. Uh, my grandfather actually carried this quite a bit on his person. He did a lot of traveling. He was actually a postmaster for uh, 32 years, so he uh, a lot of times he had, he had to go like off on duty and do different things. Uh, sometimes in different countries even, and uh, it was a little sketchy. He never really felt comfortable, so he always had this uh, on his person. Uh, of course, he did you know have all legal documents. He had a concealed weapons permit for different countries and and stuff like that. Um, anyway, uh, I'm going to tell you. I'll be the first person to tell you that I am I know nothing about guns. As far as, you know, reviews and, and that's concerned, I know nothing. I'm just like anyone else. I've shot, in, you know, I've shot a few different guns in my time, different handguns and rifles, but I don't know specifics about them. I, I couldn't give a review because I'm not going to make stuff up and I'm not going to lie just for the sake of making a video. Um, so I will not have a review on this gun because I don't know enough to actually review it. I haven't used it. I've shot it a couple times. Um, recently, I actually went target uh, shooting. But again, I don't know enough about guns to actually make a review. So I'm just making this video here, and of course I'll do a video in the future on me actually shooting it and stuff like that. But there will be no review or anything like that. Um, but I can tell you a little bit about the gun. Uh, the gun itself, like I said, it takes uh, 22 caliber LR um, bullets. Now I actually have a shell casing here to show you. This is the casing for 22 LR, which stands for long rifle. Um, let me show you the, the clip here. Of course, I don't have a, a live um, round, but to show you how this uh, fits in the clip, basically pops in um, just like that. Now, being, and of course, you have your slug in the front, you have to, you know, be a little imaginative here. But that's what this clip takes, that's what this gun takes. Now, being a gun novice myself and amateur, I went actually to the hunting shop uh, by my grandfather's house because I plan on shooting this a little bit, and I bought the wrong ammunition. Of course, right? Because I didn't really know, and I really should have asked, but I thought I knew it all, and I got the wrong stuff. I actually got 22 shorts, okay? And you see the difference here in size. Now, 22 shorts, come to find out after research, after the fact, which I should have done beforehand. <laughs> but these are more for, um, like, target practice. Uh, it's actually more of a quieter shot. Um, it's not nearly as loud as the 22 LRs. But the thing is, these won't fit in the magazine. Okay, they just will not work properly. So, I actually was able to still use the ammunition, but I had to load the, um, the bullets one at a time. Now this gun, you have a, a release here that pops the barrel out. So I was able to actually load these one at a time, okay, and shoot them off one at a time. But I was not able to actually use the clip, you know, properly. Um, so, you know, right off the bat, of course, I make a mistake like that. And it's not, not a huge deal, but again, it stresses the point. You really have to know what you're doing. Uh, so, you know, oops, you know, I messed up, but it's not going to go to waste. I still can use the, uh, you know, the ammunition. But, you know, again, it's just, like I said, it goes to show, you know, you live and you learn. 
and I made a mistake, which is okay. You know, I didn't, didn't get hurt, <laughs> so everything's fine there. But yeah, this does take 22 LR um, car, uh, rounds. Uh, what I really like about this uh, this gun, particularly, is the fact that the barrel does go up like this. Uh, makes cleaning and taking apart field stripping really easy. Actually, this uh, rotates to the front here, and actually um, pull the slide back. And you hear it click, and then the slide will uh, pop off. And this has gives me a lot of exposed parts here for when I actually want to clean the gun and, and oil it up, and you know, do different maintenance on it. I can also take the uh, handle scales off. Two simple flathead screws. Um, to further give me access to more parts on the inside. So pop back on is really simple. Just line it up at the top, snap it down, bring the barrel in, and it's all ready. So, fantastic little gun. Uh, I did have a lot of fun shooting it. Um, I actually had 22 LRs left over at my grandfather's house. Not many. Probably, I don't know, a handful. Maybe 15, 16 of them. Um, they are a much, much louder round, however, than the shorts. So, you know, it's not a huge loss because loading these um, bullets one at a time, it saves on ammunition. I don't go through it as much as if I had, you know, a whole clip that I was kind of rapid fire. Um, so, you know, if anything, it slows me down a little bit. It, it You know, each shot counts a little more in that sense that uh, it takes me more time to actually shoot them off. So, uh, it, it just slows me down in shooting, shooting which I really don't mind. Um, this gun, the clip takes seven seven shots, seven uh, rounds, and then once it's in, you could actually put one round directly into the chamber. So you can load this with eight bullets, so you're ready to go. Um, the, let's see, what else can I say about it? Uh, safety's on the back here, just pop that up. Once the safety's popped up, you can't move the slide, this top part here, see when it's down, you rack the slide. You can't do that when the safety's up. Um, so that won't move on you as well as when you, even if you pull the trigger, the hammer won't go all the way back. Okay, so that again prevents you from shooting the gun, you know, an accident. Um, just awesome. Really like the gun. Again, I'll have future videos on me shooting it, and and I'll probably get into gun collecting and using guns in the future. Um, but for now, like I said, it's just a little, little out of my well, not a little. It's it's very out of my price range. I mean, even even a cheaper gun. Uh, is a couple hundred bucks, and it's not. I mean, I know you see some of my knives are, are you know, three, four hundred dollars, but I don't have many. I mean, I, I love my knives, and I love putting money into it, and I would love to invest in guns. But like I said, if I start reading about them and I start getting addicted, I'm gonna want different things. I'm gonna totally neglect my knife stuff. Um, so for now, I'm just putting this off. <laughs> but I just want want to show you that. Um, like I said, he bought this originally for 180. He paid an extra 10 bucks for this uh, holster. Which looks to be Ranger Ranger series by can't read that stitching Blanche or Bianchi something like that. Um, you know it's fine, works. It, you know gets the job done. My grandfather grandfather also had like a holster uh, sheath for this or um, excuse me an ankle holster because uh, most of the time he wore it down on his ankle under his pants. But anyway, that's the that's the gun, the Beretta Model 21A Bobcat. Um, again, I'll have future videos, me shooting and having some fun, and as I learn, you know, I'll explain, you know, what I learned, and it, it's pretty cool, you know, being kind of a, a noob, and uh, I say noob, short for newbie, uh, someone new in this hobby. Uh, I remember back in the day when I was new to knives, and every, every single thing I read and, and learned was extremely fascinating, and I'm sure I will definitely uh, be a gunaholic, <laughs> as well as a knifeaholic, and a flashaholic, and a zipaholic, uh... I got a lot of diseases, folks, <laughs> but all of them are great. So once again, thanks for tuning in with me and, and uh, sitting through my blabbering and uh, watching my video. I appreciate it. So once again, have a very good day, and I will see you in the future. Take care.